Alright, today we're gonna react to the desk of death battle, the history of Mirnir. Let's watch. It's easily one of the most popular fictional weapons to ever exist. From the pages of comics to the silver screen, this hammer is truly legendary. Cool. I don't know how much do you actually know about it? I'm Jocelyn the intern. I do all the research. Nobody else wants to. Straight from the desk of death battle. Now, for starters, you probably know Mjolnir comes from Norse mythology, just like Thor himself. On top of that, Marvel Thor's hammer has an extremely similar forging story to the one from mythology. Both were crafted by dwarves due to a misguided fetch from the trickster Loki. And both suffered a mishap during the forging, which caused Mjolnir to have such a short handle. Though Marvel Thor's hammer wasn't originally going to be called Mjolnir, it was actually first dubbed the Uru Hammer. Mm. That is until writer Roy Thomas showed up and changed the name to its current and more mythologically accurate name, Mjolnir. Not wanting to throw the baby out with the bathwater, though, Roy decided he would keep the name Uru around as the fictional metal the hammer is made of. However, thanks to the nature of comic books, the origin of Marvel's Mjolnir has changed since its first telling. And currently there are two main versions. Ooh. The first comes from Thor's second volume and is the version used in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Here, Odin orders some dwarven blacksmiths to make a hammer using the core of a star, which may or may not have caused the dinosaur's extinction. Mm. Yeah, you know, no biggie. The second and far more awesome version comes from the Mighty Thor series, which has Mjolnir being forged out of Uru metal that has a sentient galaxy-sized superstorm trapped inside of it. Cool. Awesome. The storm was so powerful that it threatened all of Asgard. So, of course, once Odin trapped this storm into a hunk of Uru, he had to make it into a dope-ass weapon. After it was forged, the hammer was actually too dope, and not even Odin could control it. Mm. So he slapped the famous worthiness enchantment on it and hid it away until his son Thor was finally able to lift it. Mm. Oh, and speaking of Mjolnir's enchantment, that has changed a few times throughout the years alongside its powers. For starters, Thor gave up Mjolnir's time energies, uh, whatever the hell those are, to help rescue a planet from Limbo. This meant Mjolnir could no longer bounce Thor through time like a DeLorean on speed. Which was a great idea, because time travel ironically gets real old real fast and usually ends up just confusing everybody. On top of that, the hammer originally had an enchantment which transformed Thor into his human counterpart, Donald Blake. Mm. That part of the enchantment was later transferred from Mjolnir to Beta Ray Bill's hammer, Stormbreaker. This meant that Thor was, well, Thor, but full time. Speaking of Beta Ray Bill, he was actually the first character outside of Asgardians to lift Mjolnir, but he was far from the last. As you probably know, it's a pretty big deal to lift Mjolnir. For starters, Captain America has wielded this mighty weapon before. Mm. Which, like, kind of makes sense, seeing as Cap is such a goody two-shoes. But did you know that Mjolnir has deemed not one, but two DC characters worthy? Oh my god, shut up, no way. First off, Wonder Woman had a brief moment with the hammer, but ultimately tossed it aside so that she could have a fair fight with Storm. Uh. Which was uh, really disappointing. On top of that, Superman also had his time to shine with this epic weapon. Mm. To top things off, he also got Captain America's shield. If that mm. isn't the ultimate crossover combo, I don't know what is. Oh, and if you're wondering why the hell Superman has all these Marvel gadgets, uh, you can go watch this video we did on DC Marvel crossovers. It's awesome, go watch it. Oh, and fun fact, Deadpool actually picked up Mjolnir once, but of course it turned out to be a trick. Mm. However, the trick hammer still gave him this awesome Thor suit, and at the very least, the ability to fly. So, as far as trick hammers go, yeah, it was still pretty cool. Yeah, if you like this video, give it thumbs up. Uh, Oh.